We cannot believe how much stuff we still have. We're Nat and Abby. This is Bear and Peluche. And this is our van to Wanda. After two years of traveling coast to coast of North America, we're making some changes to our off-grid tiny home. Join us every week as we make a little progress and a lot of mishaps. We're running out of time. For the past two years, my wife and I, along with our two dogs, have lived in this van. Despite living in this 80 square foot home, we still managed to acquire more things than we really need. So we're having a yard sale. Unicorn Wendy also wants to get rid of some stuff, so we're helping her out and helping ourselves out by purging the items we don't need. We're also hoping to raise money to fund this next leg of our journey. We have a yard sale in full swing here. We cannot believe how much stuff we still have. We have more than Wendy out here, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Somehow, all of this was Natalie and I's clothes. Goodbye. You were so good to me, I'm gonna miss you. I think we have some real gems for sale. It's an herb infuser and because it's a chicken, Natalie said she wants a different one. We're plant-based, we can't have chickens in the van. No chickens in the van. No that's chickens a, in the van. That's a new rule. <laughs> Where are the people, okay? We need to sell all this stuff. We don't have time to put this back. It's not going back in the van. We also don't want to have to pack it up later, so. Someone's, someone's gonna buy our toilet. Heck yeah, someone's gonna buy that. Be like, this thing has been in three countries, 31 states, 31 national parks. Little update on the yard sale. It is about one o'clock, and if you're not familiar with the yard sales, you should know that noon is pretty much the death of a yard sale. So we're past the busy time, and now nothing's happening. We have made a few sales, and so far we've made about $130. We have a little bit less stuff, and a little more money in our pockets. I'd say it's a win. Just dropped off a uh... Bunch of stuff left over from the yard sale at this thrift store that donates to the children's hospital. So, feels really good. You. The yard sale went great. We made some money, but more importantly, we got rid of more stuff and that's given us some peace of mind as we have to move in and we can't take everything that we had before. But today I'm gonna work on a few finishing things. We just installed our Battleborn batteries and I wanna make sure they're protected. So we're gonna make a box covering shelf on top of the batteries for storage. And then I got to cover up the inverter and all that. So one of my last woodworking projects. Look at this cute little light and switch that Natalie made for the garage. How adorable is this? Come on, let's all take a moment. I appreciate this. This is going to be so useful. That's cute. Anyways, while Natalie is working on her project, I have a couple little projects of my own. Before we get started, I have to point out an amazing gift that my friend Katie Cottrell gave us. She's awesome, she's in Denver, I can't wait to see you. She sent us these shirts, look at this. Check it out. She designed these, it says, left-handed machine. And look, Take my glasses fro. Y'all. It looks like you. Check it out. Staining wizard. Yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> and you haven't seen the other ones yet, but we'll be wearing those too. Katie, okay, you're awesome. These are incredible, we so thoughtful, them. and I'm like never gonna take this thing off, so <laughs> thank you. My first little job today is to clean up these wires. We got some more flex tubing, so we can do it. Well, that's yours. What is it? I don't know, open it. Did you do this? Yeah, I did it. I got my wife a little present for the van. I have been wanting one of these for such a long time. Oh my God, it's perfect. Look at it. It has a thermometer on the top and it's copper, our favorite. That's, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Wow, got rid of some old stuff and got something new. 
You're all gonna love you, bye. The next thing on my to-do list is to make a protective backing for this shelving so that our essential oils, incense, whatever we put in here doesn't get damaged by being exposed to the sun. All right, let's see how we did. Yeah, that's totally gonna work. Here she goes, kids. We have access to our electronics. We can still put some storage down this layer if we need to. And that way it stays nice and safe from debris or whatever while we're driving. Today I'm putting in these face plates. Remember when I said I was putting a gnarly face plate on? We wanted something patina. And it's got that look and it's got a pussy octopus on it. Abby's laughing. <laughs> Jokes all day long. <laughs> Check these things out, y'all. It's just something pretty that we see every time we open the door, every time we turn on the light switch. Wow. Do they make copper? Coppers? <laughs> copper everything. Moving and grooving. What am I doing? Can I see you? So I'm working on the propane box. What I am doing at the moment is taking these pool noodles, cutting them in half, and then I'm gonna screw them into the sides around it so when the propane goes in, it'll fit snug and bug and rug and it won't move around. Every YouTube video I've watched, this is what people do, so I literally just copied it. Hey, da! It's in there so good, it doesn't want to come out. We shouldn't have to replace this but once a month, I would say. So you won't, you know, I won't have to do this very often. <laughs> but. That way when we dry, this thing is not gonna fly around. Those little pool noodles are gonna do the trick, y'all. Next, I gotta screw this in, but before I screw it in, I gotta do the dropout vent. A lot of you said something in the comments uh, a couple videos ago. We absolutely are doing a dropout all the way through the van into the bottom of the van so that the propane can drop out. Propane's heavier than air, okay? So that way we'll be safe if there's any leaks. going. <laughs> Went through but the bit wasn't on tight off so it's like stuck in there. Okay. Ah. All right. Let's see what we got. Today's been a long day. It's Monday. We leave on Saturday from Wendy's. You know, go to Wendy's and we are in crunch time. A lot of little ends and odds projects, odds and in, a lot of little odds and in projects. Yesterday was so smooth. I built the whole box around for the electricity, the um, inverter and stuff. I built the whole box and went great. And today it's just like every little, little thing is stopping me from getting stuff done. Um, my short term memory, you guys, I'm pretty, pretty stressed out about my short term memory. Um, I spend hours a day trying to remember where I put something. And that was today. So, Stressful, but I finally got the dropout hole for the propane box. I'm not going to explain to you why it was so ridiculous, but it is done and I think it looks pretty good. It is nice and snug in a bug in a rug in between these two pool floaties that I did. And I put some on the door and in the back as well. You can't see it, but the dropout hole is just to the right of this. And this little thing is going to hold the door on the bottom. Fit in there like that. Little clasp. Wow, lock it in place. And that whole box is gonna sit in there. And that is all that I have time for today, you guys. <laughs> today was a long day, but it makes sense. We're almost there and we're just gonna have to deal with the stress of checking all the boxes. We have a lot on our list to get done in one week, but we're almost ready to be on the road and it means everything to us. Oh my God. It's been a long road and we feel so incredible about what we've been able to accomplish. I can't, I don't think I've had time to actually let it sit 
and um, and let it sink in. So, anyways, cheers, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Sweet antenna we got. I did it on a tree backing up in We were in La Paz. Oh, we parking were in La Paz. The night. Parking for the night and Natalie hit our antenna on a tree and it's been broken ever since. <laughs> and this cool, sweet, amazing company just sent us the whole antenna again. Best customer service. WeBoost 4G, highly re recommend it. It's expensive, but it's worth it. They're, they're awesome. Ooh, there we go. Good job. That's why we weren't getting uh, soy this day for a while. Goodbye, old antenna. Hello, new antenna. <laughs> we can have good cell service again. Checking things off the list. What thing? Plants in every nook and cranny. We are still working. We definitely have not finished all of our small projects, but we're running out of time and we're getting antsy. So it's moving day. First, a little prep. Got to get this van ready. centuries people have burned sage to cleanse and dispel negative energy. We love smudging. We even had a ceremony at our wedding. <sighs> Cleansed, ready to move in. Cousin Zach for the pizza stone. She's gonna make the best pizza. Aww. Our friend gave us this for our wedding. It's a flower and leaf press, and we've been collecting plants from our travels. I kind of forgot about it until now. You know how much we love plants? We have fake plants. We'll have real plants. We have preserved plants. All the plants. While I'm putting stuff away and organizing, Natalie is trying her best to finish up some of the small projects that we still have on our to-do list. She's also cooking dinner for Unicorn Wendy and some neighbors tonight. We're saying our final goodbyes. This is getting real, y'all. They made us a pie last night in a cool stove that he made outside. And obviously you guys know that I respect that. So I wanted to make them a lasagna. So we're gonna take it over to them so they can have some dinner. We're leaving in two days and I just want to give them something to show my appreciation for just, you know, having good conversation and being really cool neighbors. Can I look? Yeah, look, look around. Ha <laughs> ha! Dang, that's awesome. It fits. Oh, and you put a little I rubber. I did. I put a little rubber thing so it won't move. Let's see. Oh my God. Oh, and it's got rubber feet on the bottom. Show them so that it doesn't slip. Perfect. It just feels so good to have our personal things back in here. It just makes it that much more homey. We're already getting excited about that pizza we're gonna make. It gives me chills. I just, it's it's such a game changer to have all the things that you want. Like, you don't have to skimp on quality and you don't have to skimp on what you appreciate about your home. When you live in a tiny home, you can still have it all. You just have to be more thoughtful 
more mindful about it, you know? Uh, this has been one of our favorite things. Deb, my mama got me this. It says, everyone's a little bit gay. I thought that was the sweetest thing. It's a really cool, thoughtful gift. You've been so consumed with the kitchen, you didn't even notice the living room. Ah, they came in! Cool! Oh my god, you're right. I really didn't notice. We got it's some pom poms. She wanted corduroy like, and pom poms. I was a '90s baby, dude. Corduroy is cool. I don't care what anyone says. All right. Oh my god. Abby, I'm so excited and impressed. There we go. Toiletries. Oh, yeah. Toiletries. <laughs> we got so much done. What a great day. We're not completely done with everything. Tomorrow we finish everything up. Are we ending the video here though? Abby's gotta actually edit this video. I have so. to edit the video. We're not ahead, you guys, okay? We got a lot going on, so Abby's gotta edit it. Don't edit this out, people need to know. <laughs> All right, we're going to eat dinner with Unicorn Wendy. We only have two more days with her. It's a lot of emotions going on, and I need to go. Bye! We'll see you next Sunday! All right, we're gonna have an octopusy light switch. <laughs> These screw heads are too. Large! Oh, well, what the duples do I do? Natalie lost the screws for our light switch. I actually thought the same thing. I was like, oh, well, where are the damn screws for the pussy one? That's not right. All right, let's see here. I think I just... Click it in, and then click it in, and then click it in. And that's it. Just look at how busted it was. I tried to wrap it with tape in a bag so that the rain wouldn't get on it. Now it just looks like a big <laughs> raccoon tail flapping in the wind. Did you like this video? I know you did. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave us a virtual hug, AKA comment. And be sure to subscribe for all the how not to's on van building.